if you have landed onto this video because you were looking or searching for how to create or how to add a simple aspect ratio for your film, your event, or, or for your video in DaVinci Resolve, you have landed onto the right video. I'm going to show you not one, not two, not three, but four ways as to how you can create or how you can add a certain aspect ratio in DaVinci Resolve. Without wasting time, if this is your first time, this is your boy Kahiso M. Let's jump onto DaVinci Resolve. Now that we've jumped onto DaVinci Resolve, this is some file that we actually uh, recorded uh, not so long ago. So what I'm going to do on the first one, it will be the simplest one that you can use on any other non-linear editing software, be it DaVinci, be it Final Cut or Premiere Pro, it doesn't really matter, this works on all of them. Uh, it's just that you can do it differently on different um, non-linear editing software. <clears throat> so, um, on DaVinci, you can do it in two ways. Uh, I don't know if there's another way there might be, but the two ways that I know, you can actually import the black bars from wherever you get them, um, put them here and just use them. Or you can go onto the solid color and create your own aspect ratio. I mean, if you bring uh, the solid color from outside uh, or the black bars, they probably will be on a certain aspect ratio. So you'll have to choose the ones you want. So on here, I just have one solid color and I'll just have to go and crop it. So we have to crop uh, the top and the bottom. So we're going to start with the top and this number will be, will depend to, will depend on uh, your specific needs. So it's a simple mathematics where you just cut the height of your video and uh, from both the bottom and the top so that <clears throat> so you get um, a correct aspect ratio between your width and your height. So uh, that was the top. So this will be the bottom. And of course, you'll just have to go and use your your own calculations. So that's the first way of doing it. And uh, why you would you do it like this? Um, sometimes you find that there are film, actually there are film, like even feature films where <clears throat> you find that the aspect ratio when the film or the movie starts is different to the body of the film. So that's where you're going to use this. So we can have um, this kind and normally they actually start with a white one and somehow during the movie and the scene changes and then you find that you have a wide, um, a wider aspect ratio. So I will do it this way if I want something like that, you know, where I don't find, where, where I don't want to use the same aspect ratio throughout. So I'm just going to delete this and go on to the second one. Um, the second one is fairly simple, uh, almost similar to, uh, to that one. Let's, I'm just going to put it there. So this one, you actually going to go onto your video and then crop your video. So we're going to have to crop the top. I can just say that according to your aspect ratio, then crop the bottom. Uh, then there we are, we have um, a wide aspect ratio or a wider aspect ratio. So this is similar to the first one where you just want to do it uh, individually. You don't want all your film or your whole video uh, to be having the same aspect ratio and i have seen it in in movies uh, where they do this so that was the second one let's jump on to the next one so i'm just going to reset reset um the next one uh you have to do it also um actually not also this one is different uh this is when you want your whole video to have the same aspect ratio. So this one you'll have to go onto your file. Uh, I'm on edit mode, 
file project settings then master settings so this is a 4k or ultra high definition resolution or aspect ratio of 3840 to 2160 so i would want to reduce my height to get a wider aspect ratio so i can just go in there and say 1920 to get my 2 to 1 uh, aspect ratio and um, I must just be careful. I have to also go here on image, <clears throat> so on image scaling. So on image scaling is how I want to scale it. So let me just show you something. If I don't change um, my scale and say save, um, it's going to try and scale the whole video according to the predetermined um, scaling method that uh, came by default on DaVinci or that you have set when you were starting your project. So you see it also cropped um, on the sides which is what I don't want. So I'm just gonna go file again project settings. Um, we've already done the 1920 so on image scaling what we want is not scale entire image to fit um we're going to stretch frame to all corners and again this is the image scaling uh, input and then on the output we're also going to do the same stretch frame to all corners then save then there we are with our wider aspect ratio so i'm just going to go to the fourth one the fourth one is the simplest of them all and also it is the one that is similar to this third one where uh, you want to scale the whole project uh, or the whole timeline in fact into the same aspect ratio so on this one if you check both video clips they have the same aspect ratio even the next one is going to be like that so what we can uh, I'm just gonna go back uh, maybe also retrace the step where you can see if you missed something so I'm going to go back on to scale entire image to fit scale entire image to fit both on the input and the output then on my master settings I'm just going to go back to 2160 if you forgot what was that um, you can just go and re and choose again your 3840 by 2160 ultra hd so this will will also change so i'm going to just save so this was just to get back to where the video was so here is the fourth method and the simplest method if you go on timeline um there at the bottom you get output blinking this is all the aspect ratio that came standard with davinci resolve um, you have your wider ones there, which um, you do find movies where, where they shoot with, uh, what do you call those lenses, anamorphic lenses. So those are wide aspect ratio where they shoot with um, anamorphic lenses. So I like um, uh, the two and I also like the 1.85. Uh, but you find mostly on movies, um, they like to use the 2.35. So I can just click the 2.35 and look what happens to our video. Boom. Just like that, um, it, it has transformed the whole timeline into the wide, wider aspect ratio. So those were the four ways as to how to create or add a simple aspect ratio onto your video. Uh, if you liked this video, please tick that. And I would appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. I'm out of here.